Welcome back everyone. You know, in most cases, the ideal way to replace teeth involves the use of dental implants. But what happens when you don't have adequate bone for that procedure? And joining us now is Dr. Richard Aguila, a board certified periodontist at Jacksonville Dental Specialists. So Dr. Aguila, thank you as always for being here. Let's talk about dental implants. For those who may not have watched the show previously, what are those? What are dental implants? Yes. Dental implants are man-made replacements for teeth. It's, they're made of ti titanium, which is a very readily accepted by the body. The dental implant's placed into the bone and it fuses with the bone in a process called osseointegration. And that's what we're looking at on the screen. Exactly, this uh, shows uh, a single tooth replacement with a dental implant. You've got the implant that gets placed into the jawbone, it fuses with the bone, then you have an abutment that fits over that and then you have the crown. So there are three basic components. And it's permanent. It's permanent. Yeah. It doesn't okay. come in and now, out. Now what is this? This just uh, shows how a dental implant replicates a natural tooth. Uh, the dental implant is the closest thing that we have to replicate a natural tooth or replace a tooth. And uh, side by side you have the, a natural tooth on the left and an implant on the right kind of transposed with one another. Okay. The implant replaces the root of the tooth and then the abutment and crown replaces the natural crown of the sure. tooth. Sure. Now obviously cosmetically this is a very desirable choice, but there's also kind of a medical reason that this is, is good to do. What happens if someone has a, a tooth or two that is missing and they don't get it replaced? That's a great question. Uh, the obvious thing is they have difficulty eating and chewing their foods, and if they lose enough teeth, uh, oftentimes it becomes painful when you eat, uh, which changes your diet and can affect your overall health. Uh, losing your teeth also uh, affects how we speak. Uh, we can enunciate some of the words that we we, we say. Uh, losing your teeth uh, also uh, causes one to be less confident, insecure, you know. And uh, what our viewers may not know is when you lose teeth, you lose bone. And uh, I believe the slide showed yeah, uh, we were how, looking at that, how someone's jaw was almost like wasting right. away, for lack yeah. of a better word of putting you, it. Yeah, you typically get bone resorption or loss of bone, and you lose that support for the lips, uh, yeah. the facial muscles. And you can you see that on the bottom. So yeah. let me ask you this. How can you rebuild that? If you are going to go in and put dental implants, as we saw in the photo before, which is essentially going into the bone, how can you do that if there's no bone there? Right. Uh, as a periodontist, there are procedures that I can do to build up the bone. It's called ridge augmentation or bone grafting to increase the bone volume in the implant site. And there are two basic ways this can be done depending on where you get the bone. You have autogenous bone grafts, so auto means self. So you take bone from somewhere else in your body. And me being a periodontist, uh, I like to go uh, either to the anterior symphysis or the chin area or the wisdom tooth area. And the second type of grafting are allografts. And what an allograft is, it's uh, tissue uh, that's taken from another individual of the same species. So it's sterilized cadaver bone, either in particles or in blocks that we place into the area to build the bone back up. Kind of technological advancements going on that are making this easier for you and the patient as well? Right, right. We're uh, the first practice in Northeast Florida to incorporate what's called PRGF. And what PRGF stands for is plasma rich in growth factors. To, uh, basically, whenever you have an injury, like a cut in your arm, how the body heals, it sends growth factors to initiate the healing process. So what PRGF does, we draw blood, we centrifuge or spin that down, and in the plasma are those growth factors that are involved in the healing process. So we incorporate the, that with the bone and it accelerates or optimizes the, the healing of the, the, the bone in the Amazing. area. So we kind of brush the surface with all of this because you could really go in depth. And right. so if there are a lot of questions out there that people want to have answered, you guys do monthly seminars. Yeah. And people can come, get some free food, exactly. ask questions. Exactly. Yeah. And, and when, when, when and where are those? Yeah, we just had our June one. So our next one is in July. It's July 23rd. It's in our Jacksonville office at 630. We talk about your tooth replacement options. We also talk about the different services that we offer and as well it's during dinner time so we actually have food for you as well so oh, that's nice right. you won't miss out on your meal yeah, yeah. And get some and make sure do you like hand out toothbrushes when you're done just to make sure like people are staying up on yeah, it or we do, we do that brush okay. after your meal <laughs> exactly well thank you so much <laughs> dr aguila we appreciate you as always thank and thanks to jacksonville dental specialists for sponsoring this segment and call 904-460-4201 today for your own personal consultation or you can visit the website to learn more it's jacksonville dental specialist dot com.